2013 Baja 500. It's been my lifelong dream. You know, I'm hoping the top five finish is what I really want because we're going for a world championship. It's not just about winning this race, though. Of course, we want to win this race. We've been second at it twice. We put a lot into this. Justin's done a lot of his homework. You know, it's not going to be the fast guy that wins this race. It's going to be the guy that takes his time through the rocks and doesn't get stuck. Be patient. The guy who's doing the hose is going to wear a helmet, going to wear a fire suit, right? Okay. We've planned really, really hard and, and uh, got what a, I mean, actually got a great, great bunch of guys. I mean, I can honestly say that I don't have a weak link in the bunch, except for maybe me. You don't understand. They don't know specifically what number to text to. As usual, everything's smooth as glass. <laughs> <laughs> of course you couldn't put a, a pin up my ass right now because you can already tell that I'm strung as high as a quarter <laughs> uh, Planning, planning, planning just makes for a perfect day. <laughs> when you guys are setting up, everybody needs to be quiet while the fuel is going into the hose. We want people to know that we're in it, you know? We want to be knocking at the door and we want to be those guys that when we show up to race, that they know we're here. Been to the finish here a few times and got second. So uh, I'd like to win this one, but uh, just keep a cool head, push forward, and uh, just keep the truck moving. It's just the plan. We just came off a win, felt great, um, but today's a new day. guys we're coming for you and uh, that's how it's gonna be look for us that's it we're gonna be there see you guys out there Bitchin' day, look at the sunshine, man. I can't I can't think of a better place to be. And what a great team. And I'm really looking forward to winning the Baja 500. Hey ESPN! Tell me a little bit about this green army. This crazy guy started this crazy idea to come down here and race this crazy ass peninsula with all this craziness going on. Yeah, we race through this shit. Say it's safe. I don't know. Hey. Replay! Where are my cameras? We had a great qualifying. We're seventh. Um, I believe 
believe we're going to have a great day tomorrow. We've got some great guys to support, and uh, looking really forward to winning the Baja 500. It's going to be a long day. Six trucks in front of us, so I'm just going to try to pick a way through them, no flats, and just try to keep it moving. We're here in Ensenada, beautiful morning, starting the Baja 500. All our chase crews are getting ready to take out, get out of here, head south, set up pits. Where are you headed? Oh, we're to pit three, which is around mile marker 245, somewhere around there. And we'll be there until late tonight. The plan today is just to keep up there, stay up in the top, and uh, we're running for a championship. We're gonna go win this race. about uh, 14, 15 hours and I can uh, do a second part to this, say, oh yeah, we're the best in the world. Or, wow, it was a long day. <laughs>
Now he's gonna fucking, he's gonna catch him and get, get, get him. Hey, make sure you tell those guys or tell Justin to watch this road because there's a lot of traffic coming this way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here he comes, boys! Hey, guys, if they're going to fly off, we don't want to take it. Hook's fine, leave it! Hook's fine, leave it! Pitting, and uh, we're headed over the crossover road to uh, Colonet. Uh, we'll see you guys there.
I'm going to just go in right before you guys to get the jack underneath there, and you guys are going to come right behind me, okay? Are you going to be able to grab that magnet, or do you want me to do the magnet and then step? Okay. Time we had, I think we had a pretty good day. You know, we got around the herbs. A couple, of, I think we beat all our guys that we needed for uh, the score, the overall championship thing. So we're gonna just, we got through this day, a rough day, but uh, just push through it. We are here, still in the top ten. Uh, people to thank. Thanks to all my dad, all the crew that worked their ass off today. Once again, Justin Davis. Tripping a, a 
alarm the whole time, so we had red lights flashing all over, so we got into Borrego and got a flat, and got out and changed it, and we were three miles from the highway, so we couldn't uh, capitalize on our crew that was right there waiting for us, so we got it changed up, got over, we're on the way over there to 2.30, how you going, man? So got that going, and... Uh, Got over to uh, 230 where our other pit was. And on the way there, we tore a tree out of the ground with that side. So we changed that tire and this rear tire and uh, went up to Mike's and had a great day. Uh, we had to pull Wyrick out. He got sideways in some rocks, so we had, had to jump out and change the, or hook him up to the toe strap that he had so we could get him out of our way. So he let us graciously pass since we were in the spot. So after that, Everything was good, and uh, we just kept watching people break, and we tried not to break. And then we had an issue with the lighting, and something was going on. Not, not rigid lighting, just our wiring program. So we changed an alternator out by Tallinnet, and just kept it going. And got it out on the beach, and got it all done. So. We're in, we're happy, we're done.